hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to discuss an important term used in stereo isomerism called diastereomers diastereomers are defined as stereo isomers including both the geometrical and optical which are not mirror images of each other in optical isomerism, the two diastereomers have the same absolute configuration at least at one chiral center and opposite configuration at rest of the chiral centers. For example, cis and trans are E and Z isomers. In this, we will take the example of cis 2-butene and trans 2-butene. In terms of E and Z nomenclature, cis 2-butene is Z while trans is E. One thing which is to be noted here is that there is no correlation between cis trans and E Z nomenclature. This means a cis can be E or Z and so is the trans. Here we can see that these two are stereoisomers and not the mirror images of each other. So they are diastereomers. Example of diastereomers in optical isomers with more than one chiral centers. First example of this type is pair of L tartaric acid and meso tartaric acid. Here we can see that these are optical isomers but not the mirror images of each other. So these are diastereomers. We can also find the relation by assigning and comparing the absolute configuration of each chiral center. L tartaric acid has 2R, 3R configuration while meso tartaric acid has 2R, 3S. Here we can see that both have the same configuration at C2 but opposite on C3. So these are diastereomers. Similarly, D tartaric acid and meso tartaric acid are also a pair of diastereomers. And another example is pair of D glucose and D altrose. It is clearly visible that they are optical isomers but not mirror images of each other. We can also draw the conclusion by comparing the absolute configurations. Here we can see that they have the same configurations at C4 and C5 while opposite configurations at C2 and C3. So they are diastereomers. Minus menthol and minus isomenthol. These are also optical isomers but not mirror images of each other. So, these are diastereomers. If you look at the configurations, both have the same configurations at C1 and C2, while opposite configuration at C5. So, these are diastereomers. Now, let's have one more pair of optical isomers to find the relation. Here, one molecule is drawn in Newman projection while other in Fisher. So first convert Newman to Fisher and then compare. The Fisher projection of the molecule drawn in Newman will be like this. Here I am not going to discuss how to convert Newman to Fisher as I have uploaded a separate video on this topic. The link for the same is given in the description box of this video 
or you can find it by clicking on i button now we can see that these are not mirror images of each other and thus diastereomers we can also find this relation by comparing absolute configurations here on c2 they have the same configuration while on c3 they have different so they are diastereomers that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video